Summer is well on its way, and it's the time of the year where people tend to throw themselves into nature with naught but a backpack and a stubborn willfulness to show off to their unimpressed friends. You are one of those people, but you're hit with a dilemma. Instead of opting for the plain but practical backpack, you pick the pretty one, and you've limited your camping supplies. Well done. Rather than manually prioritising which items spring with you, you know, like a normal member of the human race, you decide to build a genetic algorithm to pick the items for you. As you do. Each potential solution to this problem is represented by a gene. These genes are thrown into a huge pool of other genes and stirred up into a big mess. Two of these solutions are selected and combined to produce offspring genes which are then added back into the pool. Sometimes the offspring will go through a process of mutation. This is where one point in the gene will change slightly. This adds variation to the gene pool and stops it stagnating. The weakest of the whole pool, as determined by some fitness function, are culled and the process repeats. Ideally, IDEALLY, the perfect solution will exist within the gene pool at the end, and you can scoop it up and go on your merry way. Let's say we have 10 items. Each of them has a certain usefulness value and a weight value. The fittest solution will be that of one which stays under the weight limit, whilst yielding the highest usefulness. Let's set this algorithm off. The results show that the best solution found by the algorithm, as determined by the fitness function we defined earlier, is to bring absolutely everything but the tent, the cat, and Gavin. Some of you may argue for different values for usefulness that we defined before. The cat's useful, isn't it? You'll all have your own opinions on this, and are probably typing them in the comments section below very respectfully. Go right ahead, argue your point. I'm not going to listen to it, but go right ahead. Congratulations! You've successfully wasted an afternoon. An afternoon that you could have spent actually camping. What joy. Well, off you go now. Go brave the wilderness with your stupid backpack. Try not to die. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and if you really enjoyed it, maybe think about subscribing. Hit that bell button to stay updated with future videos. Otherwise, that's it for now. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.